good morning to all the topic is morphological image processing uh, the word morphology commonly denotes a branch of biology that deals with the form and structure of animals and plants therefore the morphological operation are intended to affect the shape of the object uh, it's used to extract the image components that are useful for the representation and the description of each in this shape uh shape such as boundary skeletons and convex skull and it also used for filtering application and for thinning and toning applications there are two prelim preliminaries or uh, in uh, morphological operation the first one is reflection and the second one is translation uh, in the reflection uh, the set of b denoted by b cap and it can be Uh, defined as b cap equal to the w is a is a given input image here b is a set of uh, pixels representing an object uh, in an image uh, and b cap is a simply the set of points in b whose coordinates that is x comma y coordinates have been replaced by minus x mind minus y the here the coordinates are replaced uh, as a negatives uh, that's why we are uh, applied values uh, for uh, image equal to minus b here the b is belongs to uh, set of pixel value capital b next is the translation uh, translation of set b by point is that uh, z1 comma z2 denoted b of z defined as uh, the given translation is nothing but shifting the image using z value uh, it is represented as b of z here the small b values are belongs to set of pixels value from an uh, object in an image here the example for reflection and uh, translation are given uh, the first image is a set that is a b and it's a reflection the second image is the reflection of a uh, given input image that is b cap the third one is the translation by z value the given input image is translated by z parameter or z value next is the structuring element is a small set or sub image used to probe an image under the study for properties of interest these are the types of structuring element we have used uh, in uh, image processing first is the row its first row is the example structuring element the second row is a structuring element converted to a rectangular array because the given image is in the form of rectangular array so we need to convert the structuring element in the same rectangular array format for the processing so the in the first show uh, the first image is converted into rectangular array format but uh, the second image is already in a rectangular format there is no need for conversion here third is a uh, third is the already rectangular format only so no no need to convert uh the fourth structuring element we have to convert it into rectangular format by adding uh, zeros at the uh, borders this is the origin the centered point is the uh, centered point we have taken as an origin uh, this is the example for a uh, structuring element uh, the a is a given uh, input image and b is a structuring element here we are converting the input image into uh, array format and also the structuring element is also uh, converted into array if i have an arrayed and structured input image we need to convert it first and for a uh, structuring element also
accommodate the entire structuring element when its origin is on the border of the original set A. That is, we have uh, added zeros on the borders. Origin of B visits every element of A. Uh, in a morphological operation, the structuring element B is uh, has to visit all the elements in a uh, input image that is A image. At each location of B, if a B is a completely contained in A, so then the location is member of new set. Otherwise, it's not a, a member of a new set. Uh, first, for that, we have to place the center of the origin of structuring element uh, on the input image from uh, left to right uh, side, uh, top left to right side. Uh, in a horizontal scanning manner, we have to place and perform the process. Uh, like this, we can get new set of a uh, new set of image as an output of morphological operation. See here, this is set processed by the such, uh, given structuring element, this is the output set. We can get finally as an output uh, by using the given structuring element. Well, there are four operations are present in a morphological operation, erosion, dilation, opening and closing. With A and B as sets. The A and B are two sets in Z square. The erosion of A by B is denoted by a small circle inside, inside the circle uh, minus symbol present. Uh, this is a sim, this is the representation symbolic representation of uh, erosion function that is A eroded by B is uh, equal to. A eroded by B is, uh, in the words we can say that A by B is the set of all the points Z such that B translated by Z and it's uh, continued in A. The condition for uh, erosion function, um, the translation of B by Z value must contain in a complement of a set uh, which is not a, which is equal to null set the example of erosion uh, the first image is a given input image the second b image is a structuring element uh, the first image is is uh, eroded by the second structuring element B. This is the output we can get after the erosion function. Uh, the second, the uh, below uh, A image, this is another uh, type of structuring element. By using this uh, structuring element, the second structuring element that is uh, with D by 4, uh, we can get uh, the output like this. Here, the structuring element is placed on the uh, input image. Uh, we have to move the center of the origin uh, from top left to the horizontal manner, horizontal scanning manner. We have to find the average value in that pixel. Then we can get uh, as an output uh, like this. This is another example for erosion operation. Next is the dilation operation. Next process is the dilation. Uh, with A and B as sets in Z, Z square, the dilation of A by B is denoted as a plus symbol inside the circle. Uh, A plus uh, A dilation B is defined as uh, in another in words we can say that uh, the equation is based on the reflecting uh, B about its origin and shifting the uh, reflection by Z value.
uh, the dilation of A and B, then it is the uh, set of all displacement and uh, Z such that uh, B cap A, B cap and A overlap by at least one element. Based on this interpretation, we can write the equation like uh, uh, A dilation B equal to uh, by using the intersection function that is B cap of Z intersected with A union with A set. This is the example for dilation operation. Uh, first one is the given input image. Second uh, one is the structuring element. Uh, there are two types of structuring element are used here. Square and then rectangular structuring element. Uh, first, you can get the dilation output. Uh, this is the dilation output by processing the first structuring square structuring element. This is a second output uh, obtained using the rectangular structuring element. Uh, we can see that here the border of the input image is expanded. This is dilated using structure element uh, uh, B. This is another example for uh, dilation operation. The given input image is dilated. That is the border of uh, object is dilated uh, using the structuring element uh, that is 3 cross 3 matrix. We can get a more uh, accurate result. Uh, uh, there is a difference uh, between input and output. We can see directly uh, uh, in our own eyes. This is the properties of morphological operation that is the duality property erosion and dilation are duals of each other with respect to set of complementation and reflection that is uh, a eroded by b and its complement is equal to the complement of a dilated with uh, reflection of b that is b cap and uh, a dilation a uh, dilation b Complement of A dilation B is equal to complement of A eroded with uh, reflection B. The next uh, duality property is uh, A. The next duality property is A uh, erosion B. Complement of A erosion B is equal to uh, translation uh, B by z value is uh, union of uh, a the whole complement is equal so finally by solving this we can get uh, complement of a erosion b is equal to complement of a dilation of by uh, Reflection of B structuring element that is B cap. This is another duality property. And the third function is opening. Opening generally smooths the contour of an object, breaks narrow smoothness, and eliminates the thin prostrations. Closing tends to smooth section of contours, but it generates fuse narrow breaks and long thin gulfs, eliminates small holes, and fills gap in the contour. The opening function of set A by structuring element B, it is denoted by A small circle. It's a opening function is denoted by small circle between two uh, sets. That is A small circle B is defined as uh, opening function. We can get opening function by processing uh, set A erosion by B and dilation by using structuring element B. The closing of set A by structuring element B it is denoted by A uh, small dot circle B is defined as first you have to perform dilation with a structuring element B in a, a set uh, then you have to perform erosion operation using structuring element B in set A. In uh, opening function, 
is said A by structuring element B is denoted as uh, defined as union of translation of B by Z value uh, the opening of A by B is obtained by taking the union of all translates of B that fit into A set. Uh, it can be expressed by the fitting process as a given formula. This is the example for opening function. Here the triangle given mesh as a triangle shape uh, is uh, opened using the structuring element B. Here we are using circle structuring element. This is the output we are obtained. The corners are smoothened here. This is the example for closing operation. Here we are using structuring element, circle structuring element. This is an output we obtained. This is another example for opening and closing operation. The duality function for opening and closing also has duality uh, properties. The properties of opening is uh, A opening B is a subset of image. That is subset means sub image of A. And if we see is a subset of D, then C opening B is a subset of D opening B. So hence uh, A opening B by A opening B equal to A opening B. This is the closing properties of uh, closing function that is A closing B of closing structuring element A and B is equal to uh, one time uh, closing A by using structuring element B. This is the application of morphological operation that is a fingerprint technology. We can obtain more accurate uh, output as an image for uh, uh, this application uh, we have used in uh, real time. Thank you students.